Hello and good evening one and all and welcome back into the gaming cupboard for what's been like an eternity since I've last done one of these videos. It's been absolutely ages but January's just been such a busy but at the same time a fantastic month for me. Um, meeting up with other tubers, you know, collecting games and just having fun playing like video games with other people. It's been absolutely fantastic. Um, before we kind of get into talking about that and kind of pick up some made over the month, I've got a massive thank you to give, um, which will go to Pete on a retro tip because he did a video um, probably a couple of weeks ago now and it was to shout out some other channels who have got under a thousand subs and he gave me a shout out on that video with other people. So massive thank you to Pete and all the kind of people who've um, visited and subscribed following that video. So what I'll do is in, in the description, I'll put a link to that video. Um, so you can go over and see it and, and see Pete, or I'm sure you're already subscribed to Pete if you come across me, and go across and, and see the other channels as well. It'll be like Inception by the time you get to the channels. Is um, <laughs> Just keep going through the links until you actually get through to the people. But yeah, go over and show them some support as well if you haven't already, and um, give them some support on the videos because there's so many people in the community who you know, just are fantastic people, just love what they do. And for me, it's been a real kind of, you know, privilege getting to know these people and, you know, sharing in our love of games and collecting with them. So yeah, massive thank you to Pete. And obviously go over and subscribe to the other channels as well. So before we get into the video, we better address the game playing on the background. So if you don't know what this game is, you must have been hiding under a rock for some time because it's massively well-known game. It's Dino Crisis on the PlayStation 1. So it's so the team, same team who made Red on the Evil. How do I know that? Because it's just the case. I didn't know it anyway, but yeah, if you didn't know that from the case, then you'd know from the gameplay because it's very much in the same style as the Resident Evil games, except replacing zombies with dinosaurs. So if you get a bit bored with zombies, you can shoot dinosaurs instead and play Dino Crisis. At least the first two are really good. The third one's set in space, but you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I used to have the second one as well, but I think that's been robbed off me at some point, so I need to get another copy of that. So for the time being, thanks to Eddie, I now have a copy of Dino Crisis 1 I can play. So if you get bored listening and looking at my ugly mug, you can always watch this playing in the background. So yeah, what have I been doing? What have I been doing the last month? Um, well, earlier in the month, I um, made a long trip up north to go and see some other tubers and go and visit them and obviously go to Leeds Arcade Club. But why did I go? Well, two reasons really, because um, I want to see those guys and it was Sean's birthday. So Sean of Retro Games Revived, it's his 25th birthday. And yeah, I couldn't believe it to be honest, 25 years old. It doesn't look a day over 12. Um, but yeah, um, went up to see um, those guys. So I left at city o'clock in the morning to drive up there and um, very kindly, um, Pete, Pete Fighter 2, put me up for the night so I didn't have to go there and back in one day. Uh, I can manage to have a drink and uh, chill with those guys. So thank you very much to Pete for that. Um, fantastic guy, him his, his missus put me up. So I was um, I had a bed for the night. So I got to his very early in the morning. As well as Pete, we're meeting up with um, Eddie, who's Roller Corp. Um, Dave plays Retro Badly and obviously Sean of Retro Games Revived as well. And um, we all, all of us went um, following going to Pete's, we met up with Sean's Luck Up, which was fantastic because we all kind of met there, had a chat, had a drink, and what we all decided to do was just bring some of our trades with us. So some of the games we had, to some, we just didn't really want for our collections, we just brought it along, and everyone sort of had a trade with everybody else and got some bits, which is just absolutely fantastic, to be honest, that we can do that in the community because... I'd much rather, you know, some of the games that I picked up that I don't want went to kind of other collections, other collectors, um, rather than sort of going back into the world as charity shops or going to CX, because if I can do something to, you know, help somebody else with their collection, help their collection grow, you know, I'm more than happy to do that if I've got kind of spares and doubles. So, yeah, we all kind of met at Sean's Lock Up and um, had a chat there for a while and um, obviously exchanged some bits. So that's what I'm going to show you first. So I've just kind of put these in some kind of basic order. Um, everyone kind of brought along some bits to, to trade with everyone else. So have got some bits off everybody. Um, so we'll just go for these first. I'll go this one first because it's a big one kind of in the way. 
not in the way, but it's the largest one there. It's a copy of Crash Magazine from the Spectrum. So from Eddie, this is fantastic. I never was into Crash Magazine as a kid because, yeah, I'd have been, when's this, March 1989. But a wee, wee nipper, and I certainly wouldn't have had enough money to buy a ZX Spectrum. But it's fantastic because I can look back at the old games in a review. So it's a random page, so like Dragon Ninja, what a page to open it on. 46% <laughs> overall. Oh my goodness, and then like Xenon as well, um, which did much better, this one got 84. But yeah, I can look back on all the games kind of released at the time, all the systems. I mean, it has like reviews of joysticks and things like that in there. So when I've had kind of a spare minute to kind of sit down, I've had a flip through this and had a read, and it's just really nice to kind of relive that. So that was from Eddie, so thank you very much to Eddie. And he's got some other bits along as well. So he had this in his... Um, in his bag to bring. He said, um, I think he got a couple of these from Sean at Christmas. And said, did you not get one of these? Um, don't think you did, so you can have one. So it's a handheld LCD game. Let's see if Sean threw Eddie. <laughs> um, and he picked this up at the car boot sale um, a couple of weeks ago and said, did I want it? I was like, yes, please, thank you very much. So I've got a copy of Discworld 2 on PC, which I believe is a point and click game. But um, when you just don't see very much, so there's two disc one in there. I'm not going to open up too much because the cover's just broken the hinge at the bottom. But that's really cool to have. I do like the old kind of point and click PC game. So yeah, happy to have that one in for the collection. And he also brought along some um, kind of pamphlets, instruction manuals to games, which was really cool because some of these I don't have and very much wanted. So I picked up from him a Rayman Revolution because I picked up a copy of Rayman Revolution, the boot sale there this year just didn't have a copy of that so thank you very much ready for that um, an instruction manual for Die Hard Arcade which is really cool because I haven't actually got a hard copy of Die Hard Arcade I've only got a kind of um, copy version at the moment but I'm hoping to pick that up at some point this year but obviously just got it myself to actually play and try out and a couple of these little kind of pamphlets that come in games which is really really cool so just to kind of open up to show you have like a Super Nintendo one, which obviously came in with the games, advertising all the games coming out of time. So we've got R-Type, SimCity, Link to the Past, Super Soccer, Super Tennis, and F-Zero. Everything's super on the Super Nintendo there, isn't it? Superb. <laughs> and the last thing that he brought along, I couldn't leave this behind. This just looks so cool. I think that I might have to kind of display this, hang it up at some point, if I can find somewhere nice to do it. Um, but it is a copy of the Darkness 2 poster. I don't know if you can see that. Look at that. Beautiful. I played the original Darkness game on a 360. Didn't really get into it. I don't know if the second one's any better, but I just, the kind of concept of it, the graphic novel kind of drew me to it. So I may be one I have to kind of pick up and give another go in the future. So thank you very much to Eddie for those bits. And um, I'm never going to get that folded up again now. Just put that on the floor and try again later. And um, yeah, and Dave, Dave plays retro badly. He brought along a massive, massive box of, of games that he said he just didn't need. Um, so a load of like, things in there, a load of Spectrum games and things like that. So um, I was in my element with that. I was so happy. Because <laughs> I love the Spectrum and I don't really see many Spectrum games out and about in the wild. So he was just saying, you know, just take what you want. I don't really want to take them home. Happily take it. I mean, don't want to be that guy who takes everything, but he has some quality games in there, so I picked them up. And obviously, if you know Dave, he's had some hit squad games, so I took some of those for, for in for my collection. So what did I pick up? What did I pick up? Well, I've like trebled my hit squad collection now, I'll tell you that much. So first of all, we've got um from the hit squad Daily Thompson Decathlon, which is hit squad number one. Put it that way up, you might see it, or maybe that way, so you can see the number. But yeah, Daily Thompson, Daily Thompson in Decathlon. The joystick breaker again, but fantastic. I'm not sure if I've got this one, certainly not in the Hit Squad range, but it's really, really cool to have. So yeah, thank you. Thank you today for all these bits, as well as there's Eddie for that. Um, next we have Yia Kung Fu. Yi is Yia. Yia? Yeah. It does say Yi Ah, I'm not making that up. Number 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 two on the hit squad, Yi Ah Kung Fu. 
No idea, never played it before. Um, yeah, it looks like kind of a fighting game, but yeah, fantastic to have that. It's a Konami game as well. Didn't even realise it's a Konami game, says down there. Not that you can see it because it won't focus. But yeah, happy to have that. Um, this one I remember playing on the Amiga. Really happy to have this. It's a copy of Predator from Hit Squad, um, which is number eight from the Hit Squad range. Yeah, I remember this one. Um, I think I've seen a video on this one since. You kind of um, just helicopter into the jungle and you drop down and you've got like a machine gun. You're shooting enemy troops. And I think the, the Predator's like little sight thing comes over your head and tracks you. And you have to fight the Predator at the end of the level. I don't think I ever got that far kind of as a young one. Um, but really, really cool to have. At least I think it's that game anyway. So yeah, that's Hit Squad number 8, that one. So I've got a good few Hit Squads. Um, Run the Gauntlet is next for the Hit Squad. Um, which I believe is some kind of racing game. I'm not sure. I'm sure somebody can tell me. I'm pretty sure that was a TV show. Um, but yeah, that's number 15. Um... I just realised I sound like a freaking bingo caller here. <laughs> 1 and 5, 15. And the hit squad range. Jesus. Don't want to be that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, some, someone somewhere is going line. Terrible. Um, <laughs> next up, Target Renegade. Um, not played this one before. Looks pretty good. Looks like a kind of beat em up game. Um, but not play this one. Um, if I see any kind of Spectrum games out and about, I'll always pick it up. That is number 19. And here endeth the, the number callings. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for those days. You've now like trebled the amount of Hit Squad games that I have in my life. Um, you also brought some other kind of games along. I say, brought loads along. And um, I'm really surprised that, really surprised you brought this one along actually. I kind of had prize that one out of his hands. Um, it's Fantastic World Dizzy. Um, from Codemasters, yeah, he, he really didn't want to let this one go. Um, surprised on the day, because he's always saying he doesn't like Dizzy, but um, I think it's just for like YouTube, to be honest, because, um, yeah, he didn't want to let this one go. He was very much like over that. Um, all nice in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's in real life, he's a massive, massive Dizzy and Sonic fan overall. Don't believe what he says on YouTube. <laughs> he's going to hate me for that. And after he's given me all these games as well. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Couldn't resist, mate. Um, what else? We've got some bits. Yeah. <laughs> Last things he will ever give me. Um, next up, we have Frank Bruno's Boxing from Encore. Which um, I think pretty much, um, looking at it, well, I think it's pretty much a Punch-Out clone, to be honest with you. Certainly the graphics look exactly like Punch-Out. Um, <laughs> even like the characters there. But Spectrum don't worry about copyright, did they, back in the day? It's just one of those things that they used to put on the boxes, pretty much. Um, next up, we have Double Dragon. Because I love Double Dragon. Fantastic light fighting game, Double Dragon. Um, Mastertronic Plus, this one, 2 So I've got another 289 at least to go. But yeah, fantastic one, Double Dragon. Really like this. I played it on the Amiga back in the day. Um, not my Amiga, my cousin's Amiga. I didn't have an Amiga, I'm not that rich. But yeah, loved Double Dragon games, that's fantastic. Um, and this one, this one sort of brought back some memories. I have this one, but not in this case. And the game is Popeye oh, on the ZX Spectrum. Now, you probably remember me saying, or probably not if you've not seen the video, that back in the day when I was at kind of primary school, there was this one kid who would come in and he would always bring along a Spectrum game and swap it with another kid for a cupcake. Some kind of playground currency going on there. But um, yeah, this is the the actual game that I remember them trading for, um, this Popeye game um, in this artwork. So I kind of saw it, I was like, oh my God, I just got to pick it up for like knowing that. Um, Managed, I think, to play it around the guy's house afterwards. No idea what I was doing. Just hard as nails, as you kind of Spectrum games were back in the day. But, you know, graphically, really, really good. Um, it got 8, eight out of 10 on this one. Back sound, value, playability, all got 7. Um, I never really enjoyed it that much. It's too bloody hard. But, um, yeah, fantastic game. Really, really happy to have that one. And, um, yeah, the other one I got from him... I wasn't sure about this one, I'm not sure, I didn't want to be that guy who's kind of grabbing all the games, but um, he said, no, no, you've got to take it, you've got to take it, and Pete, 
Deep Fighter 2, so it's a good game. So I picked up a copy of Beware the Tiger from Kix. So I've not played this one, no idea to expect, but it seems like a kind of side scroll and fighting game. So yeah, really, really happy to have that. Thank you for those games. And the last thing that I picked up, well, a couple of other things I picked up from Dave, I'm not gonna lie. This one was sitting there with all the games and yeah, I, I thought it was a game when I first picked up, but I actually realized after it's an audio CD. So it's Outrun Soundtrack, fantastic. I bloody love Outrun, it's fantastic. Fantastic game to have that cassette. I don't know whether or not this came, must have come bundled with a game back in the day, but really, really, really happy to have that soundtrack into the collection. I love Outrun. And the last thing I picked up a copy of from Dave um, was, well, tell a lie, last couple of things. Um, he had some loose kind of PlayStation discs there, and um, I put this one actually in with a case so it didn't get lost. But it's the Autumn Christmas Releases demo disc for PlayStation 1. And I picked this up because I thought, for some reason, this is the one that goes with um, Medieval or PlayStation 1. But I don't think it is. I think it's the other one of these. So, you know, I'm sure I can, like, you know, get some enjoyment out of this anyway. But I've got it kind of picked up to complete a set. But it's really, really nice condition. It doesn't look like it's ever been really used. So... Yeah, happy to have that. And um, I put it in with this this case, so I picked up a copy of Dirt 3 from Dave as well. So obviously Dirt taken over from Colin McRae after he passed away. Because we love a good racing game. Certainly me and Sean, we love a good racing game between us. So yeah, thank you very much to Dave for all those bits. Oh, I forgot to mention this one as well. Um, this, this is from Eddie. Um, as you might not know actually, um, from watching my channel, I have this um, annoying habit of picking up foreign games. Um, so if it is, you know, French, Italian, Japanese, like, you know, <laughs> um, NTSC, USA, I'll just pick it up and won't notice. I think it's because I get up, like, ridiculous time in the morning to go boot sailing. But I actually picked up a copy of, um, an American copy of Faxanadu, and I was like, ah. Oh, Limited. It's so annoying because so I plugged it in and I was like, what's going on here? And then realised on the label afterwards. And um, Eddie's actually got um, a Japanese, no, no, it's a Japanese. He's got a system where I actually play American games. So I did a trade with him. So I did him his copy of PAL for my American copy of Facts and I Do. So thank you very much, Eddie. That was a straight trade we did for that which is awesome. So thank you very much, guys, for, for those gifts. You really, really, really made my day with those. Thank you ever so much. That's that's so nice of you. And, um, yeah, and, and from Sean as well, um, I say these to laughter because after we kind of sat down and had a chat, we went up to Sean's lockup, and he said, I had this for you, and I was going to send it to you at Christmas, but I plugged it in and I couldn't get it working. And so, you know, I didn't send it to you, but... Um, if you, if you want it anyway, you can have it, um, but I didn't want to send you it for Christmas if it didn't work. Um, so, you know, bless his heart, Sean, you're absolute like legend. Um, I got it home, the first thing I did was plug it in, and it works, absolute treat. So I don't know if it was just dodgy contacts um, or something like that, or I'd use a different power leads, but it works a dream. And it is a mega CD too. And this is my... Um, this is my Mega Drive 2 plugged in the side with like, my Everdrive cart there. But yeah, Mega CD 2, um, you know, there's no words. Thank you so much, Sean, for this. It's fantastic. I've been like, you know, it's one of these things I've always kind of coveted seeing people having a Mega CD 2. There's just, you know, people always know about the Mega CD 1s. You know, the Mega CD 2s were much more reliable. And I think they just look just as good. I mean, like... You know, maybe it's not your kind of DVD player, but that's just amazing. It's just brought an absolute smile to my face ever since. And um, I don't think it's really sort of gone away. So thank you so much for that, Sean. He sent me some like mega CD games earlier in the year and um, I just got it home. And it's been pretty much on ever since, to be honest, just playing like mega CD games. So thank you so much to Sean. And along with that, he had in his lockup, this sitting on the floor. And um, to go with it, he said, you want to? And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I, I didn't know what to say, but I'm so grateful, Sean. Thank you. Um, it is. I'll show you. It's the Justifier. So, obviously, from, from the Mega CD, 
can't remember where it's from now. I knew it was from earlier. <laughs> can't think. Um, but yeah, like, you know, so happy to have that. Thank you, mate. I do know what it's from, but I just can't think. <laughs> no, it'll, it'll come to me in a minute. It'll come to me. Oh, but yeah, um, thank you so much for that, Alice. And it was just a fantastic, like, you know, day to kind of chat with people on that um so yeah that was in sean's luck up and we all kind of went upstairs and thank you to sean for hosting this because um you see um i'll probably drop a link to sean's like you know channel as well because he's done from his lock up he's done how he's laid it out so he's done vlogs of how he set it out from like beginning because he obviously has his game collection in his lock up um from how he's laid it out from when he first started it how he's kind of evolved over time moved stuff around how stuff's come in um been moved around since and it's just a really 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 great vlog to watch um so go check out sean retro games revived as well and i'll drop a link in the description for sean as well um so yeah so following that we went over to arcade club all of us i think we got there about 11 o'clock and I think once you pay your fee, which is about I think it's about 16 quid, it's not very much, um, you get in and you're there for the day, basically. You get a, a, a band, a wristband, and you play wherever you like, unlimited credits. No kind of cost on machines. And it's just sensory overload when you went in. Um, there's just machines everywhere. And you don't realise quite how big it is. I think... Um, I went in there and me and Dave, the first thing we went for was like a game of Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, um, which we had one of these main tags, um, main cabs, which is fantastic. <laughs> really, really fun game. But downstairs they have kind of all the big cabs. Um, they have kind of like a House of the Dead game. Um, they have Outrun 2, which is fantastic. I love that game, although I got beaten on it too many times. Um, Outrun with the hydraulics, so you're in the car and it will move from side to side as you drive. Um, same as that they have like the Space Harrier game um, so I think what else they had like Afterburner the one that you'll see in Terminator 2 if you watch that um, just so many things Ridge Racer that was one of my favourites one of my favourites from a kid to be honest if they had a dual cab of that I would have just been in that all day long but I think there's actually three levels to the place and I didn't realise for about an hour that there was like more than one like um, floor I thought everything was on the ground floor but then you go upstairs and there's just even more it opens up further still um there's like you know all your mortal combat cabs are up there you've got things like tapper pac-man there's all kind of main cabs bubble bubble um can't even can't even remember all of them um what are some of the ones we played um oh just honestly if you've played it it's probably there um just so many cool things and then there's a third floor which you go upstairs to and it was just a case of like how many floors does this place have um you go up there and there's it's more of a vr floor so there's massive tvs playing fifa and you've got as well as that kind of psvr up there but they've got some like japanese cabs playing things like radiant silver gun and um games like that it was just immense and what a fantastic day. I think we went in there. I lost my voice at one point because I just realised we'd been in there for hours and hours and I just hadn't drunk anything. I spent the whole time just shouting at people and I was just like, I can't actually talk anymore. But it's a fantastic day. And um, I didn't say earlier, we went up there for Sean's birthday. So it was an amazing day for Sean's birthday. He's 25. Um, didn't know it's his 25th birthday. It doesn't look a day over 20, to be honest with you. But yeah, fantastic day with Sean. Thanks for that. And yeah, and thanks to Pete, obviously, for putting me up to the day. We'll have to do it again soon, everybody. And, um, you know, more people the merrier to come along. Um, but um, I'll be at Doncaster, obviously, 1st of March. So I hope to meet up with the guys there again soon. Um, yeah, so that was the start of the month. And I've still been sort of picking up games ever since in between. Um so what have I picked up? So I took advantage of Argos's sale because they had a clearance sale of all their stuff and um, they reduced a load of their 3DS games, which is fantastic because I've got a couple for me and I've got some for trade as well. Um, I got, for me, a couple of games. So I got two copies of this. Well, I got Yoko Watch 2, which I got a copy of Bony Spirits and fleshy souls 
I really, really like the Yokai games, to be fair. They're a lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed these. I got the first one a while ago. And it's kind of like a Pokemon game, except you're collecting spirits. And, um, yeah, you catch your spirits to kind of help you in battle. I can't really explain too much. There is a cartoon. It's a little bit more risque than Pokemon. But, yeah, a lot of fun. And I got a copy of Wario as well for myself on the 3DS, but I can't place it at the moment. I think it's still in the car, to be honest. Um... And yeah, I've got a couple of other games just for trade. Um, I've got co two copies of Fashion Boutique, which um, I got for five ninety nine each and took into CX for trade because they're trading in at £15. It's supposed to be stupid not to for that kind of money, which got me some trade to buy some other bits. I missed out on a game which I was really, really cutting about, which was Bravely Second. They had a special edition of Bravely Second for five ninety nine, which included an art booklet, a CD, the game, and kind of a figure, which was in a massive like set when it came out. And I think if you were to buy it now, I think for CX is about forty quid, it's about fifty quid. Like if you went to to Amazon, Amazon, eBay, or something like that for it. So really, really, really gutted to miss out on that one. But yeah, so I went into CX and traded in the two copies of like Fashion Boutique Three, I think it was. I think that's the title of it anyway. Um, got my credit and some other bits that I've been meaning to take in to them for a while. And um, what did I pick up? Well, kind of what my focus is going to be this year, I decided on that I'm probably going to focus on trying to pick up some more Wii titles. And the reason being for that is because I think that when I've been looking into kind of what titles are turning my head at the moment, been looking at systems, not really anything on a PlayStation 2 is grabbing me, a PlayStation 3, nothing's really kind of turning my head. Xbox Original, I really like some of the games, but some of their high-end games are going through the roof. There are still some really, really good value ones out there, and you know if I see them for a good price, I'll pick them up, because there's still some some real good like games out there for it. But the Wii, some of their, like even some of their rarer titles at the moment, aren't going for too much money. Um, some of the like rarer ones are still going for about 40, 50 quid, which is what you pay for in new games at the moment anyway. So, I've um, been inspired to pick up some of them, probably by Retro Bear. I'm sure he uses some kind of hypnosis in his videos anyway. So, my local CX I went into and I traded in my credit and I picked up, first of all, a copy of this, which is Tasmania on the Game Gear, because this was on the shelf for all of a pound. And I loved the Game Gear as a console, to be honest. I still need to get my recap to get it working. But yeah, a Game Gear game for a pound, I'm not going to pass up any day of the week. I mean, like, just can't get anything like that for a pound these days. So, definitely having that. And a game that I've been looking at for some time, which unfortunately has gone up in bloody price now. Um, but it is a bit of a gem. Well, I certainly won an award at E3. E3 2009. Dead Space Extraction. Which has gone up to eight quid now. It's crazy when it used to be about five, about maybe a week or so ago. Not very much. But yeah, it was a nice copy. All nice and complete. I think I'm probably not going to get it anywhere else. Certainly reluctant to wait to find find try and find it in the wild. I haven't found it in the wild at all, so I picked up this for eight quid to my collection. And I've also been having a look. I've played C C X Roulette to actually have a go and see if I can get some of these games online. So some of these games I've coveted for some time, and um, I spent about six quid on my credit actually getting these. So I've got four more games um, which I ordered online. Out of the four, I think I've done all right. Three of them came with manuals, one came without, which is a damn shame, to be honest. But you just never know what you're going to get. And the one that came without the manual, I thought, do I return it? Do I have another roll of the dice? But that game, there was only two copies of in the whole of CEX. So I thought, well, if I return it, chances are someone's going to buy the other one. Or they're going to send me the same one again. So I'll just stick with it. This seems a bit of an unusual game. Game in question that came without the manual, unfortunately, is The Munchables, which is by Namco, which is just so downright bizarre. You've you've got to get it and give it a go. Um, how do I describe it? So you're one of these two guys. You're either this cute little puppy thing or this crazy looking monster thing here. And um, it pretty much is you just go around eating space pirates that look like vegetables and fruit. Yeah. It's just an absolute fever dream of a game, to be honest. But it is a lot of fun. Basically, there's space pirates. I mean, 
this boss here looks like a bunch of grapes and you just go along eating the smaller enemies until you get bigger so you can take on and eat the larger, larger enemies and so on and so forth until you just eat everything. Um, absolutely bizarre game, but it's so much fun. Like I said, there's only two copies in CX and it's just one of these games that, I don't know, I, I seriously think some of these more obscure games like this are going to go up in price in the future. So we'll have to wait and see, obviously, like any game, but highly recommend that one. I've, the game's not in there um, because it's been in the system I've been playing it since because it's just so, so much fun. Um, next game, I'll do this one next. Um, I saw this on Retro Bears channel in the background a while ago and I was looking at it and it was 10 quid and all of a sudden it drops down to six. So I'm like, well, I've been watching it for a while, six quid, I will definitely pick that one up. And it is Harvest Moon Tree of Tranquility. I say that today. <laughs> oh, I was dreading saying that. Thanks. Thank God I managed to get it out. Um, but yeah, fantastic condition. It is all nice and complete. And I think this one actually has an unscratched Club Nintendo card in there, which is fantastic. All nice and complete in there. And there's only one Harvest Moon game for me to get. And this is the rare one that costs 20 quid. But I won't be picking that up. And um, yeah, it's from Rising Star Games. These seem to be, I don't know, these Rising Star Games seem to be ones that are, you know, going up in popularity on the way. I don't know. They're always kind of going for a little bit more, except for this one. But yeah, six quid. Happy to have that in the collection now for my Wii. Um, next one I picked up. Been looking at this one for some time, to be honest, and the price of it, I thought, can't can't pass it up, can't keep passing it up. And it comes lovely and complete. It is Tatsunoko versus Capcom on the Wii. So it is a beat-em-up game. I think it's just on the Wii as well. Lovely and complete. Love the artwork in this one. Absolutely beautiful. I am rubbish at fighting games, but just the kind of characters you've got in there, the artwork. I mean, you've got Street Fighter... Beautiful Joe, Mega Man's in there, just just to name a few. So cool. Really, really happy to have that one and play with my friend and get absolutely tranced at it. But just a cool game. And it's only 12 quid at the moment, so I just can't pass that up. And then the last one, down to the last game, time's flown by. <laughs> the last game I picked up is, again, one that I've been looking at for ages and wanted. And there's another Rising Star game. It is Musamara the Demon Blade. Oh, this one's so, so cool. The like artwork on this one is absolutely beautiful. It's just almost like Japanese drawings, to be honest. It's like you're in a Japanese kind of painting, fighting. Really, really cool control style. It's just side-scrolling fighter, left and right. Played it for a little while. It is just really, really, really cool. And um, it's gone down from 22 quid to about 20 quid now. So that kind of covered the postage to drop in, in price. But yeah, so I think that will be kind of my focus this year to move towards picking up some of these Wii games that have kind of eluded me for some time. Because Wii now being like almost 15 years old, these games are going to just keep going up in price, I feel. So get them, get them while you can, while they're on offer. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is it for the pickups video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. To so say thank you to everyone who's new to the channel who's subscribed. If you've enjoyed the video, um, if you can drop it a like, that goes to returning viewers as well. It's always appreciated you come back and support the channel. And I hope you like what you see. Let me know in the comments. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't already, if you could drop a subscribe, I very much appreciate it. But that is it, guys. I'll be back with some more pickups sometime soon. I hope you have a good week. Happy pickups. And take care, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.